Hey everybody, this is Ham Solo K0FYR. I am in uh, Sacramento, California, and I have uh, been trying a couple different radios here. That is the Baofeng 5RM, the tri band radio I talked about in one of the videos uh, just the other day. And uh, this thing is a uh, tri-band transmit, but it's like seven bands receive. Uh, NOAA weather channels, uh, UHF, VHF, GMRS, and so forth. It also receives AM airband. And so someone was asking me about uh, how, how is the airband on it. I don't know, I've never tried it, right? Well, being in Sacramento and uh, where I'm training the uh, fire department is actually uh, at their training academy is right next to the airport. Now, I'm probably, you know, let's say eight, nine, ten miles away from the airport right now. But I have uh, programmed in some of the Sacramento uh, receive channels for um approach uh the tower itself and so forth and so i think i have two uh approach channels in there right now uh east southeast and west southwest i believe and so i have those uh approach channels programmed into the radio and so those uh little intermittent uh bursts that you're getting are from uh aircraft that are approaching the airport on those southerly angles coming in and they're telling them vector here vector there drop you know so many feet raise so many feet in the flight pattern and so i am listening to those as we speak and that is here on the baofeng 5rm using the 18 inch abri antenna on the top so i do have the other one here i do have the 42 and a half abri uh not extended it's all taped up uh, but I could put that on there as well. You know, it'll have a base piece and it'll raise up like this. So so when it's folded, it's almost as high as the 18 inch. And then unfolded, it's, you know, almost three times the size. And so I do have that available. But right now I'm able to hear the air band at probably eight, nine miles from uh, the airport. And uh, it'll be much better uh, when I go in there tomorrow because uh, I will be part of the airport. We'll be right beside it in the flight lines. I should be able to hear tower control, ground approach, as well as the regular uh, air approach uh, lanes coming in. And so those are planes contacting back and forth uh, on the air band, which is AM. And, uh, and uh, we're getting a little intermittent traffic. It's kind of better when you have the main radio on uh from approach because you can hear them clear as a bell some of the planes a little bit far out when they first start contacting them it's kind of hard to hear them where i'm at and so we'll see if we can get another one on here uh, broadcasting before i show you what it's like tomorrow when i'm right beside the airport you know on the flight line so that's him coming calling in you should you should be able to hear uh, approach, uh, come back really strong. Yeah, so he's giving him directions at that point, telling him to have a good night. And so, uh, again, uh, you can hear it from here, but again, we're, we're several miles away. I don't know when the video stopped. <laughs> Hopefully, you know, I got some of that recorded. I don't even know if it recorded anything, so let's see. So I am here in, uh, Sacramento. And I am at the uh, Sacramento Fire Recruit Training Academy. It's right behind me here. And uh, facing the airports back here. And so we're on the right, you know, on the side of the airport, kind of goes around. And so I have the two control towers uh, set up on the radio, trying to see uh, if we can get any little indication of the uh, receive uh, on the air bands had it on last night at the hotel room about uh, eight ish nine miles away and uh, would get uh, you know communication on the approach channels um, you know a little static he's am so I'm not expecting a whole lot that far away uh, but uh, trying to see what 
uh, I can get here with the control channel tower uh, stations in uh, the radio, see what it, what it sounds like. So you can hear it. I mean, this is AM. And so I always found AM to be a little bit staticky. Um, you know, it doesn't normally sound like that in the cockpit of the airplane when you see it on video, but it's, it's fairly staticky and I'm right beside the flight line. So, I mean, it, it, it's, it is getting air band, but, uh, it's a little staticky and I've got an 18 inch of Brie. It should be enough to, to hear that. Um, uh, I don't know if it's if it's tuned down to the 120 frequency range, and so that's something to look at uh, if this abri is doing that correctly. Uh, the only other thing I have is a 42 inch abri. I know that's not probably going to work. So uh, let me uh, I can look that up and see if we can determine if this is the right antenna for that receive. It's an antenna, so it should receive uh, just the way it is. But right now it sounds a little staticky. All right, hello everybody. So I tried uh, to use the radio over at the airport several times. Got one little recording in the car there. Um, I had the 18 inch Abri on the radio. So I had this antenna, 18 inch Abri on the radio. Let's see if I can back it up, right? So, uh, you know, it was kind of staticky. And uh, when I looked at it at a calculator, a full wavelength for airband is 95 inches long. A half wavelength is about 47 inches long. And this is only 18, this Abri. And so if I did a quarter wavelength, it's still 24 inches long. Currently, I have the 42 inch Abri on it. And I have that kind of bound up. Uh, when I had it all the way out, it didn't seem to make any difference whether it was uh, tied like this or all the way extended straight out. And uh, been getting some airband uh, conversations, but this is still a 42 and a half inch antenna. And 48 is the recommended for a half wave. Now, uh, sometimes the audio is clear, sometimes it's staticky like you're hearing right now. And so it kind of comes and goes with clarity. And I'm not sure if that's the plane coming overhead, if that's the control tower talking. It's kind of hard to understand uh, what it's doing because it's uh, staticky. Um, the ones that come in clear sound like the planes. And uh, the ones that are staticky sounds sometimes like the tower. And so it's, it's hard to really pinpoint which one it is. Uh, you know, I... I I think it's okay, but it's AM, and it's not exactly the right length. And so, I mean, it is picking up the bands. Maybe this is the wrong kind of antenna. Uh, I'm going to fly into uh, Colorado Springs tomorrow, and I'm going to try to turn it on uh, when I get there. And so that was kind of clear, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to see if I can uh, get a better uh, uh, sound uh, when I get to the springs, maybe it has something to do with where I'm at, the location, uh, noise, and things like that. And so, uh, let's see if we can get that air band a little cleaner uh, once I get into Colorado Springs and see if that makes a difference. All right, so <laughs> this morning when I left uh, California, I realized that uh, where we uh, had been doing the training or Sacramento fire was not actually at the airport. It was at the uh, Sacramento McClellan airport, which used to be an air force base. And I think now it's been turned into like a little civilian airstrip where they kind of have uh, just little Cessnas and stuff come in. And so I was thinking, well, I'm not hearing very much traffic and it's pretty static, it's not very loud. And it could have been just the uh, the size of that little airport. So once I got to Sacramento airport and realized that it was a wholly different airport, 
Um, I didn't get a chance to turn the radio on, you know, because I don't want to freak anybody out. And so I just landed in the Springs, Colorado Springs Airport. Got the radio out with the 42-inch debris on it. And I'm tuned into currently the ground and approach channels for Colorado Springs. So to see if it's uh, any different uh, being near a, a bigger airport. All right, so I know this uh, test is drug out a little bit. Uh, I was trying to hear traffic when I left uh, Colorado Springs Airport. And I wasn't getting anything, but it was uh, kind of like the middle of the afternoon. Maybe there weren't any other flights. I didn't see any other planes. And so, uh, you know, went back up to the uh, house and now I've come back down into the Springs for a little bit of, uh, of work. And I decided to bring the radio with me to see if I could uh, get any uh, traffic. I'm getting radio traffic now. Uh, I have the tower frequency and the approach and departure frequency on. And so I'm starting to get traffic now. I'm about 12 miles from the airport. I've got the uh, bow fang sitting here in the pocket of my backpack with the uh, 42 and a half inch a brie. That was a southwest. And uh, he's telling him to go to 17 right, the southwest flight. Uh, and uh, it seems to work fairly well. I've even got the antenna folded, so I don't even have the antenna extended and uh oh i can see the plane right over my head it's so uh let's see if i can flip the camera around so that plane right up there so we're by the lamp post now that's the one he was talking to southwest flight All right, I put a different antenna on the Baofeng 5RM, and uh, this one is the, I believe it's the Diamond uh, SH77CA. That sounds right. Uh, let me look at it real quick. This is... Yep, the Diamond. Oh, RH. RH-77CA and I am picking up the tower frequency from 20 miles away uh, up in the mountains I'm not even down in the springs yet and so I started I started picking up the uh, broadcasts pretty much as soon as I uh, first started coming down the hill so uh, <clears throat> you know I've been looking online is there a different airband antenna like specifically and I was given this one and another one the RH771 uh, diamond antenna so, so uh, Apparently it works. It's working better than what the Abri antenna was doing. Uh, both the 18 inch and the 42 and a half inch. This one's uh, a little bit over 15 inches. Let's say 15 and and three eighths or something like that. Seven eighths, whatever. And uh, yeah, it's doing automatically better than what the Abri was doing on the airband received. And so see if I can flip the camera and you can see where I'm driving through. So I'm definitely in the mountains. Uh, I don't have an open uh, area where, uh, you know, I'm not covered by the mountain passes. And uh, so, you know, it's definitely not getting a, a line of sight. So it's doing uh, well without even being line of sight. So I think when I get down to the bottom of the hill or get an open clearing, uh, maybe I'll just set off to the side uh, and see what it sounds like uh, when I just have a, a, a view of the, the uh, city. 
So let's check it out. Yeah, one mic bravo, fly about heading and join the final approach course, runway 17 right. Uh, and join the final right, approach course, so runway 17 right. Alright, so when I was coming down here, it was uh, sunny. <laughs> but now uh, it started to uh, snow. Uh, you can see, you know, it coming across the uh, mountains there. Uh, Cheyenne Mountain is right over here, right on the other side of these. Uh, Pike's Peak is right back here. This is uh, Manitou right below me. And so I'm about uh, nine, nine or ten miles from the Colorado Springs Airport. I've got the tower channel and the uh, the approach and departure channel uh, in the uh, radio here, and uh, and uh, we're, I'm getting pretty decent signals off of the uh, <clears throat> off of the approach uh, uh, frequency. And so uh, again, it's just started snowing, and, and uh, there was one plane that was just coming in now. And uh, uh, they were giving uh, them instructions. So I'll see if I can turn this around and uh, we can hear some of it with this uh, different antenna on it. So while I'm waiting for it to start. Uh, 868 from oh, the go. approach, Colorado Springs altimeter is 29044. Whoop. Am Solo's blowing. So this is the uh, diamond. And it is the RH77CA diamond antenna. And uh, that one is the one that uh, seems to work pretty good with the air band. It's about 15 and a half inches or so. So the plane's a little weaker. But So that's actually not too bad. Uh, uh, that's uh, that's not too bad as far as uh, the receive uh, on the uh, airband with that uh, different antenna. Uh, a lot uh, more straightforward than it was with the Abri, uh, both the uh, 18 inch and the 42.5 inch. So this, this isn't bad. I'm hearing both the tower and the approach frequencies from 10 miles and uh, on AM and it's not uh, it's not that bad it's not that scratchy so uh, it's doing pretty good uh, so it, you know I guess it's just a change of antenna if you're wanting to do uh, your airband frequency monitoring and so there you have it this is the uh, the Baofeng 5RM uh, with the uh, tri-band transmit but it does have airband receive with the right antenna. So this is K0FYR 73.